All right, ladies and gentlemen, phase two UFO disclosure is well underway. And we can see now, it's been about a week since the announcement of the release of the gimbal footage. And we can see the media is now talking about it. They call us kooks before, but man, this stuff's coming out. We got the pilot who tracked this object talking about it on Tucker Carlson. This stuff is all coming to light very quick, and this is phase two. I'm gonna get to the other phases in a minute, but this is just amazing breaking time, and this, this is slow disclosure. I've said that before, this is slow disclosure. But we're gonna take it with how it goes, we're just gonna report on it, I'm not saying I endorse Tom DeLong, and really, I, don't, I kinda wanna shift away from talking about him, let's just cover this thing of how this is gonna go. So we got, the phase is right here. So phase one of the slow, the approved government slow disclosure. Okay, they did their launch of To The Stars Academy. That was in October now, so we're quite a few months away. And that was not covered by mainstream media at all, which is very interesting in and of itself. But now we're on phase two right here. We got UFO, showing the UFO footage now. This is government released UFO footage, official, and take it for what it is. I didn't think it was that mind blowing, but it's something concrete now. And now we got the, like I showed here, news agencies going ballistic covering it. And it's really funny to see it, the news actually cover this stuff when they always called us kooks. And now they're genuinely reporting on it. You'll see a lot of the news are actually taking this stuff seriously. And it's like now they have to do it because they're told they have to do it. This is the brain. Now they got to, the, basically they have to step back now because they have to acclimate the public to this slowly. This is going to be very interesting on how this is going to be done slowly because this is, you can, because when I get to phase two, well, we talked about phase two, but phase two and three are kind of blending. And then when four comes, it's going to come immediately. But this is exciting times. And yeah, Lou Elizondo was on, I'm going to talk about this, Lou Elizondo, who did the DOD threat identification program, Aaron Burnett, CNN. Now she asked him point blank. Is this from another planet? How does Lou take it? Let's watch. So let me just ask you point blank the question. Do you believe that, that life from somewhere else, while you ran this program, came here, visited, observed? I will tell you unequivocally that, that through the observation, scientific methodologies that were applied to, to look at this phenomena, that these aircraft, we'll call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory, nor in any foreign inventory that, that we are aware of. Boom! So I know you're using, uh, you're being clear, but I mean, the answer is yes. Um, my personal, I can't speak on behalf of the government, obviously, I'm, I'm not in the U.S. government anymore. My personal belief is that uh, there is very compelling evidence that we, uh, we may not be alone. Whatever that means. <laughs> there is slow disclosure, folks. Ah, it's just amazing time to see this come out and this stuff's gonna go really quick and you can already see there's so much going on this week It was really hard for me to even cover anything now. They actually started phase three talking about which I'm calling Materials recovered from these aircraft and they have already started Talking about that and that was these are gonna blend real quick folks we come back up here. This is the uh, New York Post article. And they've talked about this right here. But according to the Times story, metal alloys and other material recovered from unidentified aerial phenomenon are stored in buildings in Las Vegas area. This is Robert Bigelow's warehouse, if you will, in Las Vegas. So now we got Lou Elizondo talking about these are not the government's and kind of insinuating, yes, aliens. So first it's, we got these UFOs in the sky, we don't know what they are, but then it's gonna have to be, we got the material recovered, which so they're telling right here already, these are gonna blend really quickly. Things are gonna go really fast. So we're gonna have to pay quite a bit attention. So like I said, they're gonna have materials recovered. This isn't normal stuff. 
do their tests, do their scientific thing, get it out to the public. But then we're gonna have to transition because <laughs> when you talk about materials recovered from an unidentified UFO, uh, aerial phenomena, whatever the hell they want to call it nowadays, you're gonna have to get into really quickly aliens are here and that's already being insinuated from Lou Elizondo but this is the four phase of this launch and these are gonna go really really quick folks get ready for it because I don't even think because you really can't talk about one without talking about the other as soon as you show UFO footage boom you got to get into the materials and then when you talk about materials you're already talking about aliens being here so this is gonna go real quick keep your eyes open I'm gonna be watching the news cycle um, this is, it's really hard to keep up right now, but this is exciting times. And of course, this is being disclosed their way with the government's approval. Of course, Lou Elizondo quitting his job and then miraculously be at the launch of the To The Stars Academy. That's pretty, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. But beware the false flag alien invasion. Dan Holfeld signing out.